Let's talk a little more about these new infinities. I'd like to touch on some convenience features specifically related to parking. So I'm going to back up my driveway. Behind me is my Infiniti M56, and I'd like to showcase a certain feature. It's going to be rather risky because this will involve me taking my foot off the brake while parking. So let's take a look at the rear view camera, the rear view, um, I guess the all around view as well side mirrors if you want but i'd like you to keep an eye down here to see my foot okay so let's line it up and then try to watch that and this at the same time okay foot goes up then i'll stomp it down you might have noticed that there was a red border around the camera the vehicle stopped itself that's called automatic emergency braking, AEB. It's a pretty cool feature, you know, because you have to really try hard to want to hit something. You can disable it if you want to, but I think it's pretty, pretty helpful. Now, when pulling forward, let's see how much intervention I get. So I get the warning that the FX50 is there, but nothing is going to stop me. If I kept going, I would hit it. Did you see the yellow board over there? Yeah, but I didn't hit it, so that's good. Again, um, I think the, the point here is that when you're driving forward, you can see what's in front of you, but when you're banking up, you don't really have that much field of vision. I mean, but there, there are a lot of things that should help you. You've got all those sonar sensors, you've got the rear view, the side mirrors, right? Rear view mirror as well, you've got not just the backup camera, the around view camera, but then you have that feature, AEB, automatic emergency braking, and w it comes with cross traffic detection. And I think with the modern Nissans, they have what they call passenger or pedestrian cross alert. I can't remember what the alphabet soup or the word puzzle is, but these days it gets a little challenging what i'm referring to as a convenience feature get gets put up with the, in this mixed bag with safety features and i think it's pretty cool things to all these things work together to help you not just navigate your day less stressfully but protect your assets protect people as well you know so you know what i'm going to do i'd like to go back there and repeat that again because i'd like to determine something so the warning is already up and I'm going to have the steering wheel this way. Maybe people who had not noticed the first time will see me lifting my foot. All right, so let's go. Foot up. Wow. Okay. This time I'm going to put my e-brake on. And the reason is I'd like to see how much room I have back there. man it is so close so close but hey clearance is clearance right it doesn't matter whether it was a whole mile or half an inch all that matters is that i did not hit the person behind me but as i said you will notice that that red border does disappear at, at some point that's just it just holds it briefly for you to take over so you have to these things are just driver aids they're not a substitute for careful driving you have to pay attention, keep your wits about you. And once you hear the warning, that means do something. And I think the most natural reaction for most people when you hear beeps that you don't understand is to slam on the brakes, which would be good in such a case, right? All right, that's all I wanted to share in today's video. All the best, stay safe out there.